What's up guys? Gonna do part four here for X47B build. I went ahead and did a few things. As you can see I installed my servos. When we left off I think I had just installed the tails and I went ahead and clear taped. You can see everywhere I put the packing tape clear taped all my leading edges I took the intake four pieces that we cut off the front of our top of our fuselage I taped them back together and that's where we're gonna make our cutout for our air intake and as you can see I already got everything working I went ahead and made the mount, fastened up some uh, popsicle sticks here. And you guys make sure when you build this thrust tube here with the mount, move your zip ties or whatever you're going to mount it with out to the very end. So make sure you put them on the very end like I got it here. And I went ahead and just glued some popsicle sticks down drilled some holes down through it and as you can see there I used the two other ends of popsicle sticks and I ran zip ties right through there but just make sure this is where you mount yours so it'll fit all my jets you want to move them out to the very ends alright you can see where I zip tied to my servos from the top and I also did all the packing tape down here where I wanted it. Then this carbon fiber rod we got here, I just hot glue it on there. I don't use no epoxy. So that way if I ever crash I can just pull this rod right back off, peel that glue off, and reuse these. So don't use the five minute epoxy, you always just hot glue your carbon fiber rod on. The carbon fiber rod we're using is 1.4 millimeters thick by 4.5 millimeters wide by 24 inch length. So 1.4 by 4.5 by 24 inch. And that's this right here. Some great carbon fiber rod I found at my hobby store. I dig it. Alright, a lot of this other stuff, these popsicle sticks I got at Walmart I think. Zip ties and all this other stuff I get at Dollar Store. Alright, so let's go in here and hook this stuff. My battery I'm using the Pulse 2250 45C discharge. You guys can use the Sky Lipo 2200 40C discharge, or you can go ahead and order one of these. These Pulse batteries are really good. I like them. Alright, as you see, I got my electronics down in there. I use some Velcro to mount my ESC. I use Velcro to mount everything, the battery, the receiver, the ESC. I used Velcro to mount my servos and which I just can cut the zip ties and pop the servos right off and I even got the control rods the same length as I use on the the bat wing 70 millimeter so that way I can use this whole electronic system to just switch it over all right so, so let's move on to what we we're doing I gotta cut out this air intake so again I just taped my four pieces back together, taped them on the front of my jet here. And you guys want to make sure you do this in a nice clean cut because you're going to save this piece. Let's just get right into it. I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife here. And just freehand it. So 
again all the electronics off this jet and the thrust tube everything can be just moved right over to the next jet you build or if you crash this one you can just pop everything out and just build a new airframe again guys I'm just cutting out my air intake here I'm trying to do a good job it's really going to show in the front here I want to make it look nice Take your time guys. I want these cuts to be really nice. And I'm just straight cutting it. I ain't putting no 45 degree angle on there or nothing. nice sharp razor knife here too brand new one so I want this cut to be nice all right so there we got that piece hopefully this pops out without no there we go now again I'm gonna save this because I'm just gonna use it put back in its place to paint the jet too so you don't paint none of this that's black in here you want to leave that all black so I'll just pop this right back in it spray paint the jet then I'll go ahead and use this too as just a cool little air intake cover just like they do in the Army and Air Force Pretty cool. All right, so now we can go ahead and peel these plans back off. I just had them clear taped on here, you guys. So there we have our air intake all cut out. You can see I already got my Velcro down in here for my battery. slides in through here. I ain't gonna put it velcro side down but so there be your battery. Alright now I'm gonna go ahead so again guys just make sure you clear tape up everything. Make sure you got all your clear taping done. And if you made your mount, go ahead and put your popsicle sticks on your mount. For the uh, for the measurements for these servos, it's on your plans. Here I got it at uh, from the tip of the nose of the jet. You're gonna want to go back to nine and three quarters, nine and three quarters right here, and that's where the front of your servo is gonna be. So again from the nose, go back nine. I got it marked right here, nine and three quarters. So if you want, just go from the underside of your jet, put a ruler, mark nine and three quarters, make a line across there, and then place your servos. The front of your servo up against that line. Get into a uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and tear off all the electronics because I'm gonna get ready to paint it. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. This is as easy as it gets to you can see I just got everything velcroed.
I'm going to go ahead and pull out the receiver. Go ahead and hook all, unhook all our wires. There's my receiver. Go ahead and pull out these servos here. And again, I'm making this like this so I can just put all these electronics right back into another jet. So there's our servos. And again, I can I can just go ahead and mount these on the bat wing the same way I had them on this jet just with zip ties and velcro Let's go ahead and pull these out of here try to get to doing a little paint in here to show you how I go about painting it I gotta remove all my electronics first let's go ahead and pull this EDF unit off I'm just gonna take and cut these zip ties that I put on here Easy as that. Let's go ahead and unvelcro our ESC. Well, I got one zip tie still on here. Cut it all the way. Stubborn little zip tie here, guys. There we go. So there's our EDF unit and our thrust tube. So now you can see where I mounted it. And again, here's my zip ties coming down through the top here. Go ahead and pull these out of here. stubborn one all right so there you see guys got all my electronics out of it pretty quick and again all this stuff will just fit right back in this jet this is the bat wing I did in the first build video so now we can just go ahead and now I'll be able to mount this right back on my bat wing with my servos my receiver. All right, let's go ahead and put this off to the side. Here's my 64 millimeter bat wing. I'll get into that later. All right, now we can go ahead and clean this up, get all the hair off it, anything, any debris. And I'm going to need my intake that we cut out go ahead and pop this right back in here I want to leave this in for painting purposes alright guys so I'd be about ready for paint now don't worry about painting over your velcro here it ain't gonna ain't gonna hurt it but you can see where I Put the velcro with the holes for the zip ties i got my uh control horns nice and centered over the hinge line and all my planes are always hinged from the top of the wing go ahead and look over this thing make sure there ain't a bunch of hair or nothing on there I might just go ahead and just paint the top just to give you an idea of what I do here. I'll paint the bottom later and you'll see the finished paint job when I do the flight video. Let's just go ahead and start slapping a little bit of paint down. I just do a really light coat to start you guys. sure you get down inside your exhaust go ahead and 
paint this up a little bit. And again, I just do a light coat in the beginning, guys. You don't have to put this stuff on real thick. A little hair there. As you can see it's looking good. Try to get all the spots that are hard to get into. Make sure you get a light coat in there. to get your popsicles, popsicle sticks covered with some paint. And again, I'm just going to hit the top half, guys. Just wanted to do some kind of painting for you. Show you how I started off. So now we can go ahead and start our second coat from this end. I'm usually pretty much able to just hit it all with the second coat and have it done. guys do have any hair or anything stuck on there just wait till the paint dries and it'll peel right off and my jet's gonna be black in this aircraft gray I got here testers paint is going to be mad this stuff stinks <laughs> go ahead and just cover it up with your second coat here make sure you got everything hit Go ahead and hit my hatch. All right, there it is, you guys. Go ahead and let that dry up for a second. Here we got the plans all mapped out for the X-47B here. Just been working on them to get them to PDF. <clears throat> Alright you guys, so once that dries up, you can go ahead and install all your electronics once you get your... basically want to finish your paint job though. If you're going to put any stripes or anything or, you know, tape off and do your custom painting. But all right, next video I make will be a flight video. I'll see you at the field. Over and out.